What's up folks? Welcome to another episode of Tenor Smarty YouTube channel and once again I'm in the boat with Ron. He keeps inviting me so I keep showing up and we got a little bit different video for you today. We're gonna go do some crappie. It's uh, crappie season over here. Dra driving over here, I, you know, Ron was telling me about how this is kind of an annual event. People are die hard about this and I didn't realize it until I was driving over here and there are people just lying on the bridges fishing for these crappie. So we're gonna go out and uh, Gonna fill the freezer up. You want some meat for the freezer, right? Thing right. It's a Christmas crappie. Christmas crappie. Yep. That's what we're going for. So something different, but we're gonna go out there and have some fun. It's about 40 degrees out here. It actually feels okay. It's a little bit humid, but the wind's not blowing too bad. So I think we're gonna be okay. Um, to be honest, I haven't done this. I have. I think the last time I went actually crappie fishing was with Matt from Three Pound Fishing, and that was probably like four years ago so it's been a while I mean of course I go out in the backyard and cast for them in my little farm pond and stuff but um, no bash rods Ron said just get in the truck and come over here I got you covered so it's kind of weird leaving the house with like nothing but clothes <laughs> clothes three bottles of water two protein bars and a and a protein shake the That's good it. thing is though if we don't catch them it's a hundred percent on me yeah yeah you get to go home cussing me yeah <laughs> we're gonna catch them I know we are all right let's go dude that crappie you caught the other day yeah. That was, a, that was a toad. 16 inches. God. One of the better ones I've ever caught. I, had, I caught a 17 inch last year spoon fish. You catch that one on A rig? Yeah. Wow. I'll try this one. It's got two on there. Yeah. One. Crappy? Yeah. All right. On the board. We ain't skunk. Nope. That ain't, that ain't even gonna make a sandwich though. No, that's not gonna make, that's a potato chip right there. <laughs> Who makes these little things? The little bubble segmented ones. Oh, those are all garland, Bobby oh. garland. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's good enough. That's actually perfect. It's a good one. Yeah. No, it looked good. It loaded up good. Yeah. Getting closer. A little bit bigger than that. I'll when clean. you start keeping them at eight inches? Yeah. I actually like the the smaller ones are like eight and a half to ten. Yeah. Make pretty good little fillets. When they get bigger than that, they get a little thick. Old guy named Hoopy here big crappie guy he used to be a really big bass guy he calls those little ones yummies <laughs> it was right in the brush though not very big return on the screen either I'm getting, I'm getting those little bumps too all right folks here's what we're looking at on the active target just uh we're, i'm not sure these are big fish i mean ron's got a couple on there like seven inches probably something like that but some brush down there there's definitely some bait and just scattered fish. There's yellow perch or yellow bass in here. So it's kind of hard to tell the difference between yellow bass and crappie sometimes. Mm -hmm. A little pile is right in the perfect spot, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, right, I'm right in it. See my jig coming up, oh, man? Yeah. yeah. There come fish. See it? Yeah. Might be our first eater. There you yep. go. That's a better there. one. Yep. That's a good one. There we go. Get the knife dirty. He wasn't coming off. Cool. Yeah. Perfect cool raptor right there. there you go. That was much better. Not bad. That's neater. Get him dialed in, buddy. Get him dialed in, buddy. Yo, crappie fishing with Ron. RD Outdoors. Doubles. Give him a call. <laughs> Tanks. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to look again. I think it's the. I think it's the pink one. I think it's that bottom one. Pretty sure. They will hit the blue though. That way you figure it out. There he is. There you go. That looks a lot better. Yeah, it's a keeper, Not I think. Not bad. That's an eater. The bottom one. That's the one they've been hitting that pink one. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. That's a solid one. The top one. There you go. A little bit better fish, guys. This is fun, man. It's very relaxing. We'll talk about what we're doing here. 
about the baits we're using and that kind of thing here shortly. But right now, we're gonna catch a few more. Probably screwing up everything. I'm just kind of playing around with this. Oh, I don't care. Okay. You can't break it, dude. Got him. Oh, man. Yeah, that's the right size, too. Perfect little leader, about nine inches. Oh, yeah. Electric chicken. Oh, that's my favorite color. Favorite color of all times. I love that thing. Isn't it funny the names they have for this stuff? Yeah. There he is. Right in that brush. That's a neater. No. Oh. Solid. Oh yeah, I go in the box. Heck yeah, I don't know that. That's a soft bite. He was right at the base of that tree. Was he? Mm-hmm. Oh, somebody tapped it. There you go. There you go. There you Not go. bad one either. Good job, buddy. That's, that's, that's talent right there. All right, we're doing some idling. Crappie fishing and bass fishing. It's all about idling. Finding the right stuff. Looking for brush today, I believe. Yeah, we got a little bit kind of hanging out right here. Yeah. Let me uh, change that depth range a little bit. For the juice hole folks looking for the juice hole there's some marks right there see that oh yeah i think the juice hole's right across from us got him there you go. one? yeah all right borderline keeper oh that's a cool keeper yeah perfect St stroked him man i saw him i stroked it right in his face he couldn't stand it Put them in the box. It's actually just about right. That's a good one. Nice one. All right, folks. I just broke off, and one of the keys when you're crappie fishing is to tie a loop knot. I don't know how to tie a loop knot, so Ron's going to show me how to tie a loop knot. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to do this on the double rig. So. If I can get my eyes to work. Now for somebody that's 30, you really can't see that well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to clear the... Oh, my, uh... excuse in the book you know, yep. pain in the eye there we go all right let's try that again there we go to do this double rig put that through there and give yourself some some tag end okay and then double the line over that line over. I'm going to just twist it around. Really you only have to go one time and run the jig back through the loop.
voila there's your first loop that's it huh that's it and then on the second one now we got some tag And I don't know, it's about, it's about right. About how far we want it apart. Doesn't have to be perfect. Do the same thing. Back through. Got two, two loop knots. And I usually try to get the knot a little closer to the eye, but it doesn't matter. That's there it. you go. What weight heads are those? Um, these Quarter? are uh, three thirty seconds. Okay, they look, look like they're heavier than that. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, there you go. Thanks. No problem. There you go. I'll show you what we're putting on these things too. All right, we've been throwing a couple different colors. Um, these are all baits made by Bobby Garland. I'm not actually sure what the shape is called, but it's just a little. I don't know, this little wiggle tail, whatever you call it. And I'm taking that first section off. You're taking the first section off? Yeah, you don't have to, but I usually do. And I've been getting them, getting bites on this color, whatever it is. I'm not sure. I just know which hole it's in. That one that and then... That one's pink. Okay, so that's pink. And then... I think I had a blue... I don't know what I had on a while ago, but there, it doesn't really matter because they're biting on this one. And that's it. You just thread these suckers up there. Just take your little bait and thread it up on that head. It's pretty straightforward. It's got a really good barb on it. it. Doesn't slide down at all. You typically just end up tearing it up before it slides down. There you go. You're ready to roll. Put you another one on. I tried two different colors, but it seems like something that's got some pink in it's working today. All right, folks, we're out there idling around and we found a little bridge pile, or what is it, a foundation or something? Old concrete building. Old concrete building. That they used for uh, water control. And there's fish all over it. Check this out. Yep. I think we can catch something off of that. Let's see what happens. There it is. Yeah, that's a better one. Oh, yeah, buddy. Another eater. Pinky. Yeah, I dropped it to the base of that tree that time. There you go. Chicken? Chicken. Is there any other color? No. Nope. I'm going to have to get me some spoons and electric chicken. <laughs> <laughs> nice. On my bait. There it is. There's yours. See if it was a better. Oh, I missed it. Tonight, and a lot of times I didn't go out in the afternoon. We just walked in and out. Really? And played, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That lake really doesn't get the... I mean, that's a good thing, I guess. The lake just doesn't get the... Uh, the pressure. The past two years, the fish got better on it. Remember, remember how many smalls there used to be on that thing? Yeah. The crop just got better. Friday didn't start till two. Yeah. And by five, I'd, I'd caught over 40. Had 25 in the box. Nice. A little reaction strike there. Electric chicken saves the day. Mm -hmm. Got him. Got him. It's the same fish I just got off. Yeah. 
Yeah. A little better quality right over here. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one there. That's might be the best one of the day. Close. That's decent. Stud. Beauty. Beauty Clark. <laughs> <laughs> supposed to and this is a lot of fun a lot of fun Jerry G you're right bro he's leaving comments on my Facebook page every time I catch a crappie he said you're gonna get addicted he said he used to be a hardcore bass fisherman and now he, all, he did, all he fishes for is crappie pretty much all right take on There he is. That's a better one, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. Better I'll one. Keep that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright folks, we're dropping on these fish, looking at them on active target. Don't have to have it by any means, but it's kind of fun to play with them. Yeah. Try to catch Ron's gonna try to catch one here. Thing moved right when the fish start moving. I know. It. They're all crawling all over the bottom down there. There you are. Oh, it, yeah. Get it. I bet he pulled my pants down on my on my plastic. Oh, there he is. <sighs> bet my plastic's not right. Yeah, see, that's pulled why you didn't eat it. Pulled your pants down. Pull my pants down. Come up and looked at it and he said, no, that one's got his pants down. I'm going to go in and try to catch one. I dropped my stuff down there now. There he is. My bait. He's going after it. It's coming up. Come on. <laughs> the head keeps pivoting away. They're all over it. There's my bait right there. Get it out a little bit. Oh, there he comes. Got him. Yep. Yep. On, on the thing? I think so. I got part of it anyway. <laughs> it's kind of tricky to do. There you go, folks. <laughs> Man, that one I had that I missed was a big one. He's he just really heavy. He's at least three pounds. Maybe four. <laughs> I'd say four. Might as well. If you're going to tell a story, make it good. Now you're on them. Yep, that's a good one. Oh yeah. Slapper. On the chicken. chicken. <laughs> Alright folks, it's gonna wrap it up man. Had a lot of fun out here. We probably caught 75 fish out here. It's unbelievable. Um, thanks for Ron taking me out here. Um, you know, crappie, great way to learn how to use your port facing sonar. You can get right up on them. They're not shy. You can drop right on top of them, change colors, see what they like. Today it was uh, something with pink, uh, funky chicken. I was throwing straight pink and I just been catching some fish on a, like a black one with, with pink, but chartreuse head seemed to be the deal. The loop knot is super key. It just keeps that bait horizontal and crappie are real sensitive to that angle of the dangle so give me a thumbs up if you appreciate the content and don't forget to subscribe until next time i'm gonna do this again that was fun
<laughs> Dang, right, we're gonna do it again.